We are in a small little beach town in the Yucatan Peninsula. It's one of the newest Pueblo Mexicos in all of Mexico. You don't need the cold or a snowy mountain road to be in Paris. Flamingo sighting! <sighs> don't need diamonds or gold. All the pictures we've been so Yes. Today we're picking you up from Cecil. We are in a small little beach town in the Yucatan Peninsula that is really up and coming because its raw beachside beauty is finally being discovered. It's one of the newest Pueblo Mágicos in all of Mexico and we are lucky enough to have been invited by our friends Karen and Greg to come stay with them at their beachside house in Cecil. Yeah, this place is dope. It's about an hour outside of Merida which is like supposedly the safest city in all of Mexico. We'll be taking you around Merida in the future, but for now, we're gonna be enjoying Christmas mm -hmm. in Cecil. But today we're going on an exciting adventure. Mm -hmm. We are gonna go for a kayak trip through the mangroves out to Bird Island. My one big goal for the day is to hopefully see flamingos. The Yucatan Peninsula is uh, home to flamingos that migrate here, especially by Celestun, which Cecil is actually quite close to Celestun. That's because there's a lot of salt mines there, which is what they feed off of, or it builds the plankton that, that gives them that beautiful pink color. So I wore my pink bathing suit. I have my pink uh, water shirt to hopefully like channel the inner flamingos to come out and connect with me, maybe. I really, really want to see some, but we'll see. This beautiful estuary is supplied with a constant flow of fresh water from nearby cenotes, but lies roughly three feet below sea level. This allows salt water from the neighboring ocean to seep in, creating a perfectly brackish sanctuary for fish, birds, and even crocodiles. The crystal clear water has a deep red hue from the red mangroves that surround it. Normally you can find just a few inches to a foot of water, but due to heavy rains this summer and fall, most places in the estuary were under two to three feet or more. Cecil is located near the Celestune biosphere, which is home to hundreds of different species of native and migratory birds, including frigates, flamingos, white pelicans, roseate spoonbills, red herons, cormorants, and many others. Normally, each migratory bird nests and lives among the same species, but for some unknown reason, the bird island here in Cecil has several species living together in this one island. This is one of the only places on Earth that this happens and is studied heavily by scientists and ornithologists. So many types of birds here. We've seen a lot of roseate spoonbills. I keep thinking they're flamingos. Not yet. Our guide, JC, who has been amazing, he says it's a little high of tide right now. The water's just too high. Flamingos like to be in a, a smaller amount of water, so it's pretty unlikely that we'll, we'll see them today. They say they found a flamingo. I'm not sure. Oh, guys. Flamingo sighting. It's a flamingo. We had a feeling we might not see them, so uh, at least we saw one. The kayak trip was awesome. We really enjoyed getting to see Bird Island. I had no idea how much uh, seeing all different types of birds I'm not familiar with would make me into like kind of like a birder. But it was definitely a really cool experience if you're coming to Cecil, we definitely recommend it. We will have the information for JC, our amazing tour guide down below if you want to book your own adventure with him. But we made it back to the house and now we're enjoying some sour orange margaritas. And we're gonna play some cornhole. Just relax and enjoy their beautiful beach house. Ready to take him down, baby? About to kick some Canadian ass. Oh my <laughs> god. Without any doubt, you know I want you. Wow. 
one for the Canadians. All right, all right. Zero for the Americans. We're warming up. We're warming up. When you lose the next game, you have to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Liz, and I'm a loser. Hi, my name is Liz, I'm a loser. Okay, let's play. Okay. What just happened? Woo! One for the Canadians and one for the Americans. Oh, what do you, do you have something to say? My name is Karen and I'm a loser. My name is Greg and I'm a loser. One point away. I thought that was the round. One point. And just like that, we went from one point to losing. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, so cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another beautiful day here in Cecil. We had so much fun yesterday, probably a little too much fun. Today I ventured into town with Greg, kind of got to explore a little bit of downtown Cecil, which is definitely growing. You can see they're making major improvements and it's just a quaint little fishing town. We ended up going to a fish cooperative where we were able to pick up some yellowtail fish for fish tacos tonight. It was as fresh as it gets. They had just gotten the fish off the boat and they were weighing them. So that's gonna be a delicious meal. And we're just now enjoying the sunset from their balcony. We're gonna probably call it an early night tonight. Enjoy some delicious fish tacos. You don't need the cold or a snowy mountain road to be in paradise. You don't need diamonds or gold all the pictures we've been so paradise it's a simple state of mind it's the people by your side but only you can find The next day, a wild cold front came through, bringing super chilly weather just in time for Christmas. We spent the next day making pancakes, drinking mimosas, and relaxing before the neighbors joined us for a Christmas dinner. It was a super relaxing and wonderful Christmas. It's hard to believe that a week has already passed. Time flies when you're having fun, right? We had so much fun exploring Cisal. It's definitely a great up and coming little Pueblo Mágico. I love that it's focused on sustainable tourism and that it has so many unique ways to explore the area. There was a cenote that we tried visiting. It's through the mangroves. You have to kayak or take a boat out there depending on the, the water levels. But unfortunately, there was a norte that came through, which is a cold front that ended up causing some crazy, crazy winds and waves and because of it they closed the port so we weren't able to explore the cenote but there is a lot to do here i definitely think it's for those who want to escape and just kind of reset and relax so if that's what you're looking for definitely come give seesaw a visit it was 
spoiled now. We had water, we had dump, we had electricity, 30 amp service electricity, which is out of control. We just want to say thank you, Greg and Karen, for spoiling us so much. And now you're releasing us back into the Mexican wild. And we're not sure what we're going to do with ourselves. <laughs> One thing Seesaw definitely needs to figure out for those that want to come in the RV is where RVers can camp. Right now they're still growing so much. There's hotels like Airbnb kind of things. You can stay at little um, cute casitas on the water and stuff. But right now there's there's no RV park. So you'll have to maybe come from a day trip from Merida. Unless you meet Greg and Karens that can let you park so comfortably. There are friends. You don't get to hang out with Greg and Karen. <laughs> So if you are new to the channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We have more great content coming to you every Monday at 6 p.m. We'll see you next week.